What's up guys, Charles here on Alpha U. 2019 was an amazing year for smartphones and 2020 promises to be even more better. So in this video, I am going to be going over the top 10 smartphones of 2020. And this list is not going to be any particular order. And do also drop the smartphones that you are most looking forward in the comment below. So let's get straight to it. If you're looking for an affordable flagship phone which doesn't have any major compromises on features or functionality, stop looking and check out the OnePlus 70. One of the highlights of the 70 is its large 90Hz display. It can compete with most top-end handsets and offers great color accuracy and response. The OnePlus 70 battery provides all they use from a single charge. It's unlikely to go much further than a day, but it's what we have come to expect these days. The OnePlus 70 camera feels like a significant improvement over the OnePlus 7, with some impressive software wizard right on tap to optimize your images. The OnePlus 70 is the best T upgrade to any OnePlus phone to date, and an attractive proposition for those who find the OnePlus 70 Pro too bulky. If you want to know more about the specifications of the smartphones and its cost, just click the link below the description. Number 9 is Samsung Galaxy Note 10. Yeah, that's right. Samsung now offers two versions of its S Pen Touring Note range and this one comes with lower spec than the one which is on top that you are gonna see soon. The Galaxy Note 10 is better for those with smaller hands, thanks to its much smaller display and smaller dimension, but the battery life suffers a little for that. This may be Samsung Galaxy Note handset, but the display isn't anywhere near as big as you'd expect. It's a 6.3-inch display with the Infinity O cutout for the selfie camera. The battery life is where the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 begins to suffer a little as we found it regularly ran out before the end of a full day but it's enough for average usage. The rear camera of the Galaxy Note 10 is similar to all other flagship smartphones released in 2019 and it's good but not the best we have seen on the smartphones. The Galaxy Note 10 isn't as high spec as the Galaxy Note 10 Plus but if you want a stylus on a smaller phone than the Galaxy 10 Plus then you may want to opt for this. Number 8 is Oppo Reno 10X Zoom. In band tube design and smooth performance, the Oppo Reno 10X Zoom boosts an attractive pop up selfie camera, cutting edge chipset, and competitive camera lineup making it one of the best phones available right now. Odd name aside, there's a lot to like with the Reno 10X Zoom and if you're looking for something a little different for you, next phone this could be just the ticket. Thanks to the pop-up selfie camera, there is no nudge intruding on the display and with almost zero bezel, you are treated to an eye-popping 93.1% screen to body ratio. It just looks great. The battery of Reno 10X Zoom lost for about a day of medium to heavy use and a day and a half if you use it a little less. That's what we expect from a modern smartphone so no issues here. Despite what its name may suggest, this phone actually offers up a hooping 60x zoom which gets you alarmingly close to objects far in the distance. It's a digital zoom so quality degrades a little but even the 5x optical zoom is impressive. The Oppo Reno 10X Zoom is a stylish phone. Between its sleek look, a symmetrical pop-up and delicate back colors, it looks great and surprisingly for a Chinese smartphone with its own UI, the software is good to look at too. The number 7 is OnePlus 70 Pro. The OnePlus 70 Pro is the best smartphone from the Chinese phone manufacturer, but not by much. It's a minor upgrade on the Sound Pro. If you already have the 7 Pro, there's no need to upgrade, but if you are looking for the best from OnePlus, you can stop searching. 
One of the highlights of the 70 Pro is its gorgeous large display. It can compete with any other top-end handset you may be considering and beat some of them when it comes to price. The battery performance admirably matching the Sound Pro and perhaps even exceeding it in some regards. We found it would comfortably last a whole day on a single charge, even with extensive usage. The OnePlus 70 Pro can take very good shots, but it doesn't have the best camera we have seen on a smartphone. One of the small compromises to keep cost down. Still you are getting 3 powerful rear snappers and a selfie camera on the front. The OnePlus 70 Pro is an impressive handset that costs less than a lot of the competition while offering an almost full suit of flagship features which is just 53,999 rupees only. Number 6 is Hawaii P30. What's this? Another Hawaii phone on the top 15? Your eyes do not deceive you. The Hawaii P30 really is 7th in our best phone rundown. It has a smaller screen than the P30 Pro and makes do with just 3 rear cameras and a maximum zoom of 30x but it's still a great Android phone. With a 6.1 inch display, the P30 is a little easier to manage in the hand than its large sibling. And with a full HD plus and plenty of colors, it's a top smartphone screen. You can expect to get excellent battery life with the Hawaii P30, with the phone often lasting a day and a half on a single charge without shoes. While the three cameras on the rear aren't quite as good as the four on the P30 Pro. It still offers up an impressive shooting experience with 5x, 10x and 30x zoom and great low light abilities. There is a heap of power, a handy headphone jack and a more manageable form factor for one handed use. And of course, it's a little cheaper too. The number 7 is iPhone 11. There is a new hero for iPhone fans with the iPhone 11 offering the best mix of features and price from Apple. The specs here aren't as impressive as they are on iPhone 11 Pro or iPhone 11 Pro Max, but the trade-off in a lower price for this device still makes it top buy for many Apple fans. This isn't the best screen you'll find on an iPhone, but it's still a vibrant display that's large enough to watch video on. The easiest way to describe battery life on an iPhone 11 is good but not great. You will get around a day of usage from iPhone 11 but it's not as good as the Pro Max. Expect a similar experience from the camera on the iPhone 11 as on the iPhone XR. If you want the best camera on an iPhone, you will want the Pro but it's still an impressive shooter on the rear of the standard 11. The iPhone 11 offers some of the best features from Apple. In a more affordable package, many will be happy with what the iPhone 11 can do, but others will want to look forward the high-spec iPhone 11 Pro or Pro Max to get them very good. The number 4 is the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. The Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus is one of the largest phone there is. But this stylus storing handset is our fourth favorite phone you can buy right now. It's expensive, but it features some of the best spec you will get on a smartphone in 2020. The screen of this phone is huge and the infinity O cutout means there's little interruption to the display here, allowing for an immersive experience. We found the battery life on the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus to easily last the whole day. Plus the fast charging tech means you are able to pump it up quickly when you are nearing 0%. The camera setup on the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus isn't the best on the market but it's impressive and offers a lot of fun features that you may want to play around with. Samsung's Galaxy Note 10 Plus is a remarkable device but it's only for those who want a large phone and don't mind spending that bit extra on a device. The S10 Plus will be more suitable for most, but the Note 10 Plus is a great phone too. The 
the number three is iPhone 11 Pro and iPhone 11 Pro Max. Want something a bit more from your iPhone? You are in luck with iPhone 11 Pro and iPhone 11 Pro Max as they feature improved spec including a more high-end rear camera that can compete with the very best. It will cost more than the iPhone 11 which is probably the best phone for the average iPhone user. But if you are after the very best iPhone, the Pro range is what you want. Other than the obvious size, there is very little difference between the 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max which is why we have grouped them together in our best phone roundup. It's the biggest decision you'll have to make. Will you go for the 5.8 inch 11 Pro which is easier to use one handed or the larger 6.5 inch 11 Pro Max which is greater for movie and gaming. Either way, you get a great display which packs a colorful punch. The battery life on the 11 Pro series is slightly longer than the last few generations of the iPhone. But don't expect anything game changing here when it comes to length your phone will last for. Apple has put most of its focus into the rear cameras on this device. And while the design of the rear of the phone has been controversial, these cameras can create some truly stunning photography that competes with the very best camera phones. You will have to spend a bit extra to get the iPhone 11 Pro, but it's well worth it if you want a phone that's both iOS 13 but comes with top end features. The number 2 is Huawei P30 Pro. The large 6.47 inch screen on the P30 Pro may only have a full HD plus resolution but it's bright, clear and colorful providing an excellent canvas for your apps and games. There is no worry when it comes to the P30 Pro potentially running out of juice. The battery life here is excellent. We regularly got to the end of the day with 30% or more left in the tank. The cameras are the P30 Pro's real party piece providing staggeringly good 5x and 10x zoom and a digital 50x zoom which gets you insanely close to objects far off in the distance. Its low light capabilities are also top notch. The P30 Pro not only sets a new standard for Hawaii, it sets a new standard for the mobile industry. Its cameras are quite simply astonishing. The design is eye catching and the power plentiful. It's a true flagship smartphone. And now the number one which is the very best phone in smartphone market is the Samsung Galaxy S10 and S10 Plus. Can you hear, can you hear, can you hear my voice? Coming through, coming through, coming through the noise. I'm floating through outer space. I'm lost and I can't find a way. The Samsung Galaxy S10 is the best smartphone available right now, still, that covers both the S10 and the larger Galaxy S10 Plus, and there is very little difference between the two handsets, aside from size. They take the very best of what's on the smartphone market and put it together in a compelling package that we love testing. The Super AMOLED display has been measured as the very best around with super colors, great dynamic range and essentially the very best viewing experience you can have on a mobile phone. Plus, there is a fingerprint scanner embedded in this display. Battery life on the Galaxy S10 and Galaxy S10 Plus is an improvement over the S9 series thanks to the larger batteries inside. They easily reach bedtime with double digits still left in the tank. They also offer Samsung wireless power share allowing you to wirelessly charge other devices on the rear of the handsets. The trio of the cameras on the S10 and S10 Plus are among the best on the market, building on the excellent setup on the S9 series by offering more features, shooting modes and overall clarity. The S10 and S10 Plus are packed full of the best Samsung has to offer and it comes together to give you the best smartphone experience around right now. If you had to pick one, we'd go for the bigger screen larger battery and a dual selfie snappiers of the Galaxy S10 Plus but both phones deserve their best phone crown
all enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe our channel at YU and click the bell icon. And see you soon in the next video.